Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna be giving you guys a general reading and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I see that you're in the midst of making a decision um, and it's like you really wanna manifest this to happen. You want a new beginning, a new start and you're kind of going through the options on what you wanna choose. So I do see celebration coming towards you. Let's see. Yeah, it's like something that you've been wanting justice for like really badly and wanted to manifest justice for it's gonna happen and you're gonna be celebrating and you're really gonna like what's to come. Also, there's an energy that's showing up that's going, sorry, I have my retainer in my mouth if I sound weird, but this person is like having a tower moment, okay? They're going through it, okay? They're really burdened, they're talking to their friends, family, I don't know exactly who they're talking to, right? But they're talking to people and they're probably just getting advice. They're super burdened and yeah, like, they're not having a good time, okay? But, yeah, so this person, if they didn't already, they're going to impulsively come towards you, and they're going to be flying in, okay? So, let's see what's going to happen. Okay. Yeah, this person wants to work on things with you, like, yeah, they're super, like, anxious over this. They're very upset. And then I got my confirmation card, so they must be really upset, okay? And what they're upset about is that you're not speaking to them or they haven't spoken to you in a long time. So this is causing them to basically go insane, right? And yeah, it's like for some reason they think you're happy. Like you could be happy, but I'm saying like, even if you're not, they think you are and they want to communicate 100%. They want to communicate. So whoever this reading is for, this person wants to communicate with every freaking piece in them. like. They want to come in, right? And they're not afraid to come in and freaking ask you, why are you ignoring me? Why aren't you chasing me? What's going on with this? What's going on with that? Like, they're ready to come in and do that. So, yeah, like, you know the energy I'm getting is like, what do you think you're doing? Like, what do you think you're doing? Like, no, like, I want you. Like, it's like a very childish, immature, like, no, like, I want you now. And I'm willing to fucking, you know, tell you how I feel in a less immature in a less mature way to get what I want and it's like yeah they definitely see you as their wish fulfillment they see you as a stable person and I always say this but even even if you're not this is how they're viewing you they see you as a stable person they see you as a star so you could literally be a star be on social media or they just look up to you they see you as an inspiration and motivation so it's this like what they're they, sorry they have emotions towards you right but the biggest thing is the fact that they look up to you, it's almost intimidating, but I feel like this is the biggest thing to them that makes them feel very emotional towards you because they feel like you're different from the other immature woman who maybe didn't have goals or maybe just weren't mature. And I feel like you are a divine person and they're very used to like karmics and people who are just like, very material, very 3D, and I just feel like you're not, and that was very different and weird to them, and um, at first they were like, what is, like, what are you? Like, you're, you're very different, you're weird almost, and it's like now they're probably learning stuff about spirituality, and they're learning that the people around them are like shitty people, and they're like, wait a minute, that person isn't weird or like different in a bad way, like, they're different in a good way. They're someone who I would want to be around because I'm tired of being in this immature energy. I'm tired of being around these immature people who are holding me freaking down, holding me down. Just wanna party, just wanna never do anything with their lives, don't have any goals, just wanna sit around and talk about who they act last night. Like, they're really thinking about this finally, geez, finally. I also see that this person is at home a lot trying to make a decision on you because they wanna do this in the right way or they want to do it in a way where you like kind of have to say yes and you can't just ignore them I don't know but it's like this person is at home and they're like they're like okay they're actually being mature in this instance they're like okay I need to come in the right way or they're not going to answer or it's not going to go over well but once they get you like say this person doesn't want to message you because they think you might ignore them they will somehow try to like see you in person or kind of like 
text you or call you in a way that isn't like so immature, maybe apologizing first, admitting their wrongs, but right when they get in, I see that they're gonna be like, so what's up, why, why were you doing that? Or so what's up with this, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like at first they're gonna act very mature just so they can get what they want. Just so they, not get what they want, but just so they could talk to you, you know what I mean? Without you like running away, I don't know. That's what I'm getting. Okay, so yeah, they want to come in and offer you something because they're feeling stuck. So it's not because uh, they always, like, wanted to put you first and treat you good and never hurt you. It's more like, oh, now they're stuck, now they're feeling shitty, so it's like, how am I going to fix this? I got to come in to fix me. That's what they're thinking. Yeah, because they're freaking, like, they're definitely, def it's like they're defensive that you're so strong. I'm getting this person, you, might really not be chasing them or really just might be doing your own thing sh like like showing no attention to them really and they're defensive that you're being so strong and that's that's what i was saying before like they're trying to be mature but at the end of the day like these are their these are their thoughts deep deep down that even they don't even realize they're thinking right so they're defensive that you're strong okay because like i said they're used to little little like bro they're not used to a mature person okay they're not used to someone who's like listen you're gonna you're gonna treat me right or i'm out of here because this person might have made you feel like shit because you you held yourself to them standards and you weren't like what they're used to they might have made you feel like who the f do you think you are and now now they realize okay yeah, I see that they want to balance out the situation and make things okay. So maybe this didn't end on a good note or it didn't end great. So it's like they want to come in and give to you, whether that's, you know, an apology or whether that's just simply coming in. Like, it could be anything. It could be a gift, anything. They want to come in, they want to give to you. But like I said, it's because they're heartbroken. It's because they're feeling shitty. It's not because they're like, oh, I treated this person wrong and I really want to... Like, I shouldn't have done that. It's more like, oh, I'm feeling shitty. I miss this person, and I want them now. So now that I'm feeling shitty, I want to fix this. It's all about them, okay? I'm not saying they don't like you. Like, I'm not saying anything like that, but I just get a selfish energy with this person. Okay. Let's keep going. So... Yeah, I feel like this ending kind of came in a way where you weren't expecting it. It kind of just happened. And you basically had to find your happiness out of that. You had to crawl out of this hole and you had to heal yourself and you had to find your happiness. And you had to be committed to this whether you liked it or not because you just had to heal yourself, right? Or else what? You're just going to sit around and cry all day? No, you had to, well, at first you probably were, but you had to really stay committed to yourself and your happiness and i'm getting it wasn't easy right and throughout this and even to this day you might still be beating yourself up in this you know regretful remorseful energy like oh i should have done this or i shouldn't have done that and it, what was i thinking and it's just like i feel like you still could be holding yourself in that energy a little bit and it's like you really need to get mental clarity about this person that it really wasn't you it was all of them and i mean obviously we're not perfect right but i feel like you're blaming yourself for stuff that wasn't really all you okay um yeah i feel like when this person left they were thinking oh it's fine like they felt like they didn't have to heal themselves from this at first right they were like okay i'm moving on peace out no thoughts about it and yeah, they basically didn't make a decision on you. And now, like, it's like now they see you as stability and they're guarded and they want to come in. And it's like, they feel like you have, like, stability. Like, they feel like you have stability and you're like, treat me right or get out of my face. Like, that's really what they're feeling towards you. And they're also feeling like you're not in a rush to make anything happen. You're doing you. You really could give a shit. This is what they're thinking. This isn't the truth, right? But it's like they're feeling like you could give a shit. You don't give a shit, okay? And you, okay, so basically what I'm trying to say is you don't care if it works or if it doesn't, but that's how they're seeing you. So you don't care if this takes 10 years to work out or if it doesn't work at all. And they're very much feeling left out in the cold and ignored by you. 
You must just have a feeling. All right, yeah, very confused, holding on to you possessively. They're looking back and they're thinking about how they thought they were going to get away with this and how they didn't. And honestly, they feel real stupid, real dumb. And they feel like you were literally sent from God, like no joke. Maybe you told them about the twin flame journey, or maybe they're just finding out about it. Or maybe they're just starting to use their intuition. And they're realizing you were literally a gift from spirit. They're so, see, like they're starting to use their intuition about that. And guess what? Now they're obsessed, not in a good way. So don't think, oh, haha, ha, they're obsessed. No, this is bad. Like, they're obsessed. They could be in your damn bushes right now. No, I'm just kidding. Well, they could be. But it's very toxic. They could be drinking, doing drugs. But if they're not, they're obsessing over you. And, you know, it's just not a good energy, okay? It's very toxic.